Greetings all, Fanny here for Cancer's Daily Oracle Message. Cancer, we're using a brand new deck today. This is the Mind Info Oracle, and I am absolutely in love with everything about this deck. It's so gorgeous. All right, and she has got some sass to her. So the first card I want to bring up to you is Listen. You're being asked to listen to your inner voice. It's been guiding you to do or say something, and it is time to act on that wisdom. The inner voice is your inner divine, your intuition, the, the correct, direct channel you have to your higher self. This is the most instantaneous way that spirit can speak to you. So strengthening your intuition is an incredible way for you to hone your divining talents, skills, and abilities, and have support in your everyday life from moment to moment. Your next card is jump in. You're being asked to take a chance and give whatever you're questioning a try. The stars will never align in just the right way. Sometimes you just have to jump. You just have to take the leap. This is the time. This is the best time to jump into something new because we're just coming off of the full moon. We are at the energetic new year because Samhain is the witch's new year because that is when everything starts to rest and to be reborn in the spring. So Samhain, Halloween, the 31st of October, is the energetic new year of the world. So this is the best time for you to make the plans, start something new, and keep going on what you're working on. It may feel as though you have been on this path or journey for so long, and you may be wondering if you're making any progress towards your dreams. This is a message. This message is a loving reminder for you to keep going. You're almost there. It is always the hardest right before the threshold of the new break, because that is when everything is coming to fruition. And like spirit is like, okay, are you going to do this final push? Because it's almost here. Are you ready for it? Oh, someone's running away. Where'd you go? Hang on, I have to fish this. Alright. It was Mercury that was running away. No big surprise there. That guy is always shifting and changing. I mean, it goes into retrograde three times in a year. You also have Scorpio and the number seven coming out for you. So... With this, I'd say Scorpio could be someone that you're meeting. You might have Scorpio placement somewhere in your sign. Scorpio is the other snippy water sign amongst you guys. And so I always see that Scorpio and Cancer are kind of like having a battle of the claws, but I don't get battle energy from this. With Seven, I see a lot of good luck and abundance coming to you on your path with what you're jumping into because Seven is an incredibly lucky number. Yeah. Presence. You're being asked to spend more time in the present moment, to stop ruminating on the past or longing for the future. Your life is happening right now, and when you're not present for it, you may miss all of its beauty. Exactly. So listen to your intuition moment to moment, jump into what you have been working on, and be present and enjoy the moments that you have right now. Because you could be overlooking an opportunity, a lesson, or a blessing that is needed for you. You're going to be expanding right now, my love. You're being asked to expand. You live in a world with endless possibilities and staying safe in the known is no longer working for you. It's time to make your world just a little bit bigger. It's time to imagine all the possibilities and go for them. Exactly. Now, with these two together, you might think like, how should I be imagining my possibilities if I'm supposed to be in the moment? Balance in all things, my love. It is amazing to daydream. It is amazing to wonder about where you're going and imagine what that would look like. But you can never get there if you're always spending all of your time there. Make a little steps every single day so that you keep going and move towards your steps. Move towards your goal. It's going to be step by step, little by little, but it will have a huge reaction down the line because everything is going to build up and compound and build you an amazing foundation to launch your future on. So Cancer, be sure that you get quiet and listen to yourself. Take a walk in nature if you can and ask Spirit, talk to them and be quiet to listen to what they have to say. Spirit can use anything and anyone to bring into you your message. So please understand that what you are going into is entirely new. 
You're going to need to trust yourself and trust your higher self during all of this and just go in and what your mind is constantly reminding you of, what you're constantly thinking about. Jump into it fully because like they said, it's never going to align perfectly. You have to trust yourself and you have to make sure that you're balancing your life and your energy so that you're not overwhelming yourself, my love. Have a beautiful day, Cancer.